Welcome friends. Today we are going to learn or understand about ESP32 based door lock using RFID. So we know what is RFID and how to configure ESP32 module. So I have already placed two videos related to this ESP32 and RFID tags. So we are going to use this RFID tag and interface them with ESP32 to have the electronic lock to secure or to protect the lockers, house, shop or any other valuable places. So let us understand how this is being achieved. First let us see what is the pin configuration of ESP32 which I am going to use in this project. Uh, 38 GPIO configuration ESP32 module with me. So which is Express IF ESP32 VROOM 32D. In the picture you can see the pin configuration for this module. So this particular module operates with a 3.3 volt and we have numerous amount of analog pins that is ADC pins you can see in this orange color pins. So these are all the ADC pins that is analog to digital converter and then we are having here also ADC pins and also we have DAC pins digital to analog pins so that means you can get analog signals and uh, which will be read by the module as a digital using ADC and we can produce the digital inputs so which will be converted into analog outputs which can be controlling the analog devices which is also possible using this ESP32 module. So the ESP32 module has the Wi-Fi configuration as well which we are not going to use in this particular application but I have already explained you how to configure this and how to use this ESP32 module for uploading the data to the ThingSpeak server in our previous video. If you have not watched please watch that and try to understand how this Wi-Fi module is configured and it is used. So these are the materials which I require for uh, doing this particular uh, project. I have ESP32 module, RFID tag and receiver and also I am going to have a, a relay and I am going to have the uh, lock, magnetic lock. So let us understand how this RFID module works. So the RFID module works basically with the 13.56 megahertz clock signals and uh, this is going to work with SPI as well as I2, I2C communication so which is nothing but serious serial uh, peripheral interface and uh, I2C configuration is also supported by this and we are going to use in this particular project uh, SPA so that is a serial peripheral interface and about this SPA I2C all these um, configurations and uh, types of uh, serial communications I have explained the it in another uh, video so which is also available in our channel if you have any doubt about that you can watch that video for understand what are the different type of serial uh, interfaces available how it differs from each other you can understand from that and this module works with a 3.3 volt uh, signal uh, electrical supply and it takes almost a 10 to uh, 13 milliampere in standby and while it is operating it takes around 13 to 26 milliampere current. So this inventory management attendance system access control system so those were the few uh, application for this RFID so which also can be used for logs so that is what we are going to do uh, particularly today. So these are the pins uh, for the RFID tag and it, uh, receiver so we have VCC pin ground pin so we will power this module with a 3.3 volt and the reset pin MOSI MISO uh, clock pin and the data pin will be connected to the ESP32 for controlling this particular RFID tag so these are the numbers so the reset pin will be connected to D0 and uh, MISO pin will be connected to 19th pin MOSI pin will be connected to 23rd and uh, serial clock will be connected to 18 and then we have serial data pin which will be connected to 5th pin. How to configure this RFID module in our um, Arduino IDE? 
go to the library manager and there you type this mfr c522 then you will get the modules available so whatever the module you have purchased so based on that select this so you can choose a uh, github or you can choose the uh, other uh, libraries which are available so based upon your hardware you can choose this and once you choose that you can install that once you install this then the library will be added to your uh, ide then you can choose the example programs and uh, verify your RFID tag and receiver for making that you will have the wiring configuration so I already I have shown you which pins will be connected to uh, which pins of the ESP32 so 3.3 volt is for the power supply and the ground pin the RST that is reset pin is connected to G0 and we have G19 which is connected to MISU and G18 is connected to serial clock G5 is connected to serial data and G23 is connected to MOSI pin. So these are the wiring configuration. Um, so this reset pin and then um, the other pin can be configured, but um, you can see in the code actually. So the SDA pin and reset pin can be configured. So other two pins are uh, fixed ones. So don't try to change that one. So this is the wiring diagram or the implementation implemented uh, circuit so you will have esp32 and we have rfid tag and uh, receiver here and we have a relay a 12 volt relay because we have a 12 volt lock here and then we are going to have a lcd to display the details of the cards and the unregistered card or the registered card whatever it is so that is going to be the function of this lcd module so this is the implemented circuit so i have not put into a box or something like that i just connected in the breadboard to demonstrate how this rfid tags and the system works for this one so we can keep this uh, into a com uh, you know a box and the box can be uh, you know placed where you want to control the lock and uh, either it is a box or it is a door lock or whatever it is you can use this lock for uh, opening and closing the door right so we can take the example programs from here uh, once you uh, install the library from here you can take the examples and you choose this mfrc2 and you can take the example programs here and uh, after configuring um, the library and after connecting it to your esp32 you can uh, upload this program to the ide and uh, to your uh, esp32 and then you can check whether the program works properly or not so let us take uh, a sample program so this is not the example program so which is uh, uh, you know written by me here for uh, checking this lock so what is the code uh, is all about we have uh, SPA that is serial peripheral interface as I told you we are going to use this serial peripheral interface for the data communication so I need to include the library for a serial peripheral interface and I need to include the library of uh, the RFID tag and I need to define uh, which pin will be used for reset and which pin will be used for SDA uh, that is a data pin so MOSI and MISO pin is going to be connected to the pins which I have shown you earlier so which cannot be changed uh, as per this library so you can change these pins reset pin and SDA pin as per your availability of the uh, uh, you know the pins in your uh, controller and then I am defining a, a lock pin here so that is 27 so this can be any number and uh, the SDA pin and uh, reset pin that it, the pin numbers will be come to this particular function function then white setup in the setup i am defining the lock as output i am just uh, see, uh, in initializing the serial communication here with the baud rate of 9600 and the spa serial peripheral interface also i start at the um, initialization rfid so this is the internal functions of this library and serial so i am just displaying that rfid is ready then this is about the setup and in the loop i need to read the card details first 
then it is uh, UID string. So each and every um, tag has its own UID. So this UID we need to read and we need to compare it with the, the UID of the known suppose you have uh, two cards you, you will find out the uid for that cards and you will compare that with the present uh, card which is scanned in the uh, this one so if both matches then you can do the particular work or if it is not <coughs> if it doesn't match then you have to say that the card is not registered or something like that or the door lock will not open something like that so so first you need to uh, read the uid of the uh, you know the card which you are scanning or which you are uh, keeping near to your rfid so then this uid will be compared to the, the uh, known uids of the tax so if it is matching then we will do the work which you need to do it so first this part is uh, reading the uid of the card which is being scanned and here we are comparing that uid with the known uids so i have two uh, uids which is known for me so and these two uids i will compare with the uh, cards which i am going to scan so first if this uid is this number which has this number so that means the door lock will close for uh, five seconds and then after that it will again uh, you know it will actually open the door lock and after five seconds again it will latch then if the another uid is this number again the door can be opened for five seconds and after that again it will latch if it is uh, the other card uh, other than these two cards then it will show as an unregistered user so this is about the program um, breakup the same program here with the uh, lcd i have added a lcd and uh, the lcd function is to just to show that particular card i have named the card here actually you can see that the code is same almost the same thing so i have just included the lcd part here i in the setup i initialize the lcd and then here i just put some lines for uh, you know to show that um, welcome and uh, rfid door lock something like that so which is not functionally going to make any difference apart from that and uh, in this uh, area also i just mentioned if it is this particular uh, tag so the serial communication will show that a serial port will show me that uh, welcome raja babu um, uh, in the lcd it will show the same thing so this is what i have included okay now you can see actually the code in the system this is the code which i displayed in the presentation and um, you can see in the serial monitor based upon the tax which i scan for the rfid you can see in the serial monitor it says welcome raja babu so that means this is the tag for named as raja babu and uh, second tag it shows welcome bro so this is i defined as uh, this way and the third tag which i have here so i just scan it and it shows unregistered user so that means this particular cat card is not registered so that means i have these two tags which can be used for opening the door which is registered so that means using these two uh, tags i can open the door or close the door other card whichever the card is there in this card i cannot open the door so in this way i can give the access for the required people or so that they can securely uh, keep their belongings and safeguard their uh, you know valuable things so the same thing is uh, there in the video as well i will uh, show the implemented system in the video hope the content is clear and if you have any doubts please let me know in the chat box uh, thank you thank you so much for watching try to implement and check the outputs thank you guys thank you so much